Oh. All right, this is a project I'm excited about, making the exhaust. And I'm gonna do, it's very simple and cheap exhaust on this thing, but I think it will be effective and pretty. I think it will actually look good for the money spent. So I've got what's left of my stock exhaust here. And this guy goes up on the bottom of the cylinder head like so and tucks underneath the frame a little bit. And then this guy, the, my basic concept is that I'm going to attach this guy onto the end like so. And then I'll be able to have this little outturned pipe thing at the end. It should be really simple. And then I'll be able to take this on and off because I'm gonna use some modern day spring clips on this thing. As you see, I'm sort of modern day sport bikes and things like that. I'm gonna have a spring on either side here that spring clips this thing onto the end of this guy here. That's the concept. This guy is off of, uh, this is your, this is a new normal parts store. This is a two inch exhaust pipe, it's called a turnout. This little turnout part, and this would normally go, it's designed and marketed towards going on the bottom of a car and just turning out like this. Also, I'm gonna put a baffle in here. Two inch, these are eBay baffles that go in here, and it slides in like that. And then you can pull it straight out, and so I can take the baffle in and out of this thing if I want and to see the difference in the sound of the bike. All right, so here's my stock exhaust, what's left of it. And you'll note inside the stock exhaust, there's like a little baffle thing in there. You see that divider? Uh, I don't want to cut this pipe back all the way to that baffle. Basically, you can see how this guy tapers on the ends here. I want to cut this guy back a little bit to this taper here, right about here I wanna cut it. The baffle is like right here. This is a resonator pipe. It's a two inch pipe with a flare on either end, but I got it for, for scrap basically so I can cut it up and fit it onto the end of this guy here because my plan is to cut this, weld on a piece of that resonator pipe here just enough so that I've got a starter, basically a, a way to mate the turnout here, this guy, on to the end of this thing. All right, so here's my pipe opening now. You can see that that baffle is still down in there a few inches. That's good, that's what we want, and Let's see how we can mate up the other pipe. I've cut this in half so I no longer have the flared part at the end here that I'm playing with. Now I can play with just the two inch part. And I'm thinking I just weld that straight onto the end of here. They're basically the same size. And then we'll figure out how far back we want to do this, but it's gotta be at least this far back. And then we'll cut it and then stick the other part on there and then figure out where our clamps go. All right, we've got our two pipes cleaned up, ready to weld, and we've got the little magnet on the side to hold everything straight. The exhaust should come out right about like that. So now I've got some little rod here to make my little tabs for welding on to the pipe to secure the springs with. This rod here is probably overkill. I think this is like 3 16 or very close to that. It's much heavier duty than I probably need, but we got this. So I'm gonna use this and bend some little hoops out of this and then we'll weld the hoops on to the pipe. tabs on there. So if you're looking down here, you've got them on both sides. Now we just got to do the turnout side and we're done with one side of the exhaust. And 
And there it is, all welded up. I'll go ahead and take my little decibel killer thing, drop that right in there. And that is our exhaust, basically. Then I just have to do the little springs, attach those, and we're good to go. All right, so what is the total cost for this exhaust, this custom awesome exhaust I just made? Well, for those of you watching in the future, in 2019 dollars, the turnout's $18 for both of them. The resonator pipe, that was $7. The spring clips, all of them, $9. The baffled DB killers, $18 for two of those. And the grand total, $52 for the whole modification. Was it worth it? You tell me. Thanks for watching everybody. Keep on wrenching, we'll see you next time. Oh,